I keep my mouth shut. Uh, my sister just immigrated to America, and um, you know, finally this recession is paying off. <laughs> and, uh, I love doing that show because my sister hates it. <laughs> I Skype her every night and go, "I went really well tonight." Um, no, uh, I'm, I'm actually just back from New York myself, and it wasn't business or pleasure. I, I just wanted to feel skinny again. Cheers, thanks. Fuck you too. It was my birthday not too long ago, and uh, my parents wanted to take me out for a fancy meal in a restaurant, and I kept saying no, and I just didn't understand, and I, I couldn't explain to them that there's nothing sadder than a room full of young couples and smack dab in the middle of a 28-year-old man with his parents. And I get one of those sharpy waitresses of y'all like, what does the birthday boy want? <laughs> Whiskey. <laughs> uh, uh, and my parents are the kind who get a cake, you know, and they'd have your one come out at the end of the meal and candles lit. A room full of people feeling sorry for me and saying happy birthday, all the while wondering if I was some kind of mental impairment. <laughs> and I just have to sit there smiling, take off my helmet and blow my candles. <laughs> The way it is, she sat me down about a week after my birthday and she goes, uh, Yo, we're getting older and you're not getting any younger. And uh, she goes, Maybe you should think about buying the house from us so you have some kind of stability in your life. I said, Mom, sure. Why would I buy the place if I wait long enough I get it for free? <laughs> so now I live alone. Um, so, alright, I live next to an app license. Uh, you know, the old saying, A has 12 steps. But this off license is 10 feet from my door, so I'm not really an alcoholic, I'm just efficient. <laughs> uh, I've, I've got a weird neighbor, she's like quiet and weird. But uh, ever since her husband disappeared without trace, she's really gotten into her gardening. I mean like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, her out there just digging and crying. <laughs> um, she has two dogs, so I get on her right with her. Um, you know, I love dogs. I was talking to a girl recently who did her junior leaving cert. Yeah, say leaving cert. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, was, uh, it, was, it was totally legit, don't worry about it. Um, she, was, she was doing her leaving cert in Dublin and uh, she said uh, that they brought in dogs as a way of stress relief. I know that's amazing, but that's a completely different world than I live in. Like, Close as I came to as I once did a FOSS course in a prefab with a rat infestation. <laughs> and I failed the course, but the rats passed. Uh, <laughs> speaking of rats, did you send in those water forms? Anybody? No. Yeah, me neither. Fuck them. Um, it's weird, like, I don't think it's really going to affect us and our parents as much as it's going to affect our children and our children's children. You know, they'll never grow up having a water balloon fight. Um, there will still be water room fights, there'll be rich kids pelting poor kids. <laughs> <laughs> and the poor kids, their parents want them back in because it's like, St stay out there, they'll save you a fortune and showering. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure to hit you in the back of the head, you're, you're so filthy. <laughs> That's my uh, old mother uh, impression. It's the only one I do, it's terrible. Um, but no, uh, I'll tell you, I'll leave you with this story, right? Um, a couple years ago, the most awkward thing that ever happened to me happened with my dad. Now my dad's like typical Irish father, he'd be like, he loves sports, hates emotions. And <laughs> he'd be, he's a nice guy. Uh, we were born in Amsterdam, uh, working, and uh, we accidentally saw Brokeback Mountain together. <laughs> yeah. So like every night we'd come back from work and we'd be in the hotel room and when you're with your father, drugs and prostitution are off the cards. <laughs> so uh, we'd go down to the cinema and had American movies, but with Dutch subtitles. 
So like to see it, you had to go by the poster. And we saw this one, it was like two cowboys and a massive mountain. We thought, oh, Jesus, a Western, brilliant. <laughs> and uh, we start walking in, there's about 100 men. We thought, Jesus, this must be some action flick. <laughs> uh, really, that's not out. Uh, after, like, we haven't seen Brokeback Mountain. First off, watch it, it's brilliant. Um, I watch it with your dad, but yeah. Um, first 20 minutes, plays pretty much like a Western. Two guys. They keep giving each other these long, piercing looks. You know, Ooh, somebody's gonna fuck somebody up here. <laughs> uh, uh, after about 20 minutes, then they, they're fighting, and then they're kissing, and then they're having gay cowboy sex in a tent. <laughs> and if you're a straight man watching two gay cowboys have sex in a tent, it's awkward. But when you're right next to your dad, <laughs> I, was, I was just grabbing the arm, I was, I was scared stiff. I mean, like, stiff <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> I kept staring straight ahead because I didn't want to let them think I was in any way interested in what was on screen. And uh, after about five minutes of this, and we both just staring straight ahead, they stopped having sex and they go, and Jake Gyllenhaal and Heath Ledger get out of the tent and uh, the Joker turns back to Donnie Darko. <laughs> and he goes, uh, I ain't no queer. Which when we just burst out laughing, like all that tension had to be released. And a room full of gay men turned around and gave us the worst look we've ever seen in our lives. And we're cowards. We just got up and the whole row here won't move. And then the whole row here won't move. So now we're just standing. <laughs> After about two minutes, we sat back down and watched two hours of the most awkward cinema I've ever seen in my life. We love that we cried at the end. Alright, man, do you wear it and thanks for the <laughs>